I think it's the, the emergence of a, of a new security architecture which uh, has taken us by, uh, by surprise and our, uh, uh, our lack of preparedness for that. Obviously it's Russia to the east, it's, it's uh, aggressive behavior coming back on the, uh, on the regional and international uh, uh, scene. It, it's uh, in conjunction with uh, the US becoming a less predictable ally and Turkey uh, becoming less predictable itself. So uh, actually I, it's impossible to name one. It's a, it's a conjunction of um, several threats happening at the same time on different scales and the fact that we have not been prepared for this. Yes, I think uh, paradoxically the fact that we uh, in Europe uh, have been feeling that we can count less on the United States uh, possibly has has, uh, has been a wake-up call. Um, I, I hope that continues. Uh, I think we're starting to take ourselves more seriously in our defense and, uh, and invest in this. Um, I think we've also uh, woken up to the fact that uh, Russia, uh, for one, uh, is not just using military aggression but also hybrid uh, and we need to uh, develop 21st century uh, means of responding to 21st century threats. I think it's, a, it's as impressive as always and I'm, I'm, uh, it's always interesting to, to be in Warsaw uh, because Poland is taking uh, itself uh, seriously as a regional actor and it's, uh, and, and it's uh, seriously involved in the region. It's looking uh, 360 degrees around it. I think Romania converges very much with Poland uh, in, uh, in terms of how we, uh, we look to Europe, to the US and to our region. Uh, so for me it's always um, it's always interesting uh, to come and have a sense of uh, what things look like, not just from the Polish side, but also from the region as a whole.